Hello from Canada, Erin. How are you today? I'm doing great. Hello to you. Thank you. Happy holidays. I guess we can say that officially now, right? Yes. <laughs> Well, Thanksgiving hasn't come, but let's just do it, right? Let's just do it because we're talking about this fantastic holiday movie. Uh, I just was grinning from ear to ear for the whole thing. Okay, I don't know when you got this script, Erin, like the challenges, the production design challenges that you must have faced. I don't know if you fainted or what. How, what was your reaction when thinking about how you were going to make this look as amazing as it did? I, I'm going to tell you that the interview, this is one of those fantastic instances where the interview, like all of a sudden I'm in this interview and I'm showing photographs and, and, you know, it's starting slow and you're talking about the script. All of a sudden Reggie and I start going back and forth and it became that collaboration and that teamwork played for the whole movie wow. and I, it, it's for me it was one of the greatest filmmaking experiences ever seriously because um, you've done a lot of good stuff in your career <laughs> well I appreciate that and yes I mean it um you know look Reggie would go play I'd bring it back he'd go okay a little big let's get to the heart who are these like every instance we just kind of doubled down and got everyone, got each other to the great place for the movie. The wow. cinematographer was like, hey, the producers were like, okay, we can't afford Kringles. What do we do? Like, how do we make it work? All of a sudden, Amazon's like, we know what to do. We, we start working with them and their volume crew and Kringles gets built on the volume stage and, and became just, you know, the, the, the hope and concept totally came to life it was wow. so pleasurable yeah I'm I mean really... it looks yeah I mean look it's a joyous film and I'm sure it was joyous to work on especially having this cast there and I, for, I want to talk first about Candy Cane Lane itself because you know there's so many people out there who do decorate their homes um, they even go you know they can either do it as a competition or whatever it is and it can be insane I mean here in Toronto we have some amazing neighborhoods that I like to drive through every Christmas just to see what they do. Where do you even start, Erin? Like each house was crazier than the next, but yet not insane. You know what I mean? It was it was yeah. not tacky. That's what I wanted to say. Not well, um, thank you for that. I love hearing <laughs> that. Um, you know, the, I would say we started by going to the real candy cane lane that yeah. the writers grew up in. Right. And Kelly's like, we went to his house and researched from that. And then from there, it became storytelling. And we wanted to honor Los Angeles within, if you look, Surfing Santa How. I mean, and I have yeah. to tell you, we're, we're on the Universal lot building these houses and the tour buses are going by and everyone's like, what's going on? Like, it was so fun. You know, the Christmas is like a magical holiday, you, you know, we were, everything seemed supported. Even the guys at Universal, like towards the end would stay late at night to take selfies in front of the houses. You you just felt the good vibe going as yeah. you were. Yeah, did you have a favorite that you liked the most? <laughs> well, strangely, it's like Sophie's Choice here. Uh, yeah, true, true. You know, I would say, there's a house that's in the deep background that no one sees that we call Granny's house. Okay. That had this giant grandma serving cookies to all these wooden soldiers. I don't think it got the close up I wanted in the movie, but listen, I'm super happy, you know. <laughs> For sure. Now I have to go back now and, and look at that one again, because, you know, this is a movie that you need to see twice because it there's so much happening. There's so much to, to, to look at in this. And I want to to when you're working on set design production and stuff like that how much do you take into consideration the actors that are going to be in these scenes like you have an Eddie Murphy you know they have this lovely family you've built this amazing home for them and it's so cozy and stuff but how much do you take into consideration when you're doing that who you're working with oh my uh, uh, the example I'll use to speak to that is 
the opening scene, we spent so much time just thinking about how Eddie sits in a chair by yeah. the front door next to his turntable that we're going to get a close up of. What record albums have to be there? What he has a vintage Morant stereo system. Every choice, and and when you walk in, every element is discussed, thought through. And then when he walks in and he sits in that chair, and you're like, oh. you know, and then another trick we do is when he first walked in, we actually um we brewed up a bunch of hot cocoa with marshmallows in it. Yeah. So they walk in, the actors walk in and they smell, you know, just, it smells like home. The trees right. are, there. it's, you know, you do all that. You do all that. Absolutely. I mean, it, it, it completely works. You know, what, was there a particular scene um, or set of whatever that really, really ultimately challenged you? Cause like I said, there's just so much going on. Um, I couldn't keep my eyes off every scene. It was like insane, but I thought, wow, that's a lot of work, a lot of work in this movie. Ah, oh, really appreciate it. Um, the, I would say that the the scope, you know, as I started designing Kringles, the scope of that set yeah. was a challenge. You know, we have the clowns in the VW visual gag of that set, and um, finding the a way to get the scale was, and I don't even want to use the word challenge because what ended up happening in the great teamwork way that this show went is we we ended up, Amazon was like, you know what? Use the volume stage. And we started building within the, the Amazon's volume. The walls are endless. I, I, you know, you can't even tell how much. And we built all these beautiful bespoke Christmas decorations within it as you see. Yeah. Um, so I guess that set was really our, our, I don't know, I could go into the zoetrope tree too, because yeah. that's a whole other journey that took us for <laughs> quite a long I, I mean, Yeah, I was, I was thinking that for sure. Like, it's just, yeah. like I said, it's just a cornucopia of, a, of gifts that you've given us visually in this film. I really appreciate it. And uh, what a pleasure to have the opportunity to talk to you today, Aaron. Thank you so much uh, for your time. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, you too. Bye. Thanks.